on this Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> right, it's the day before. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what we're in for today is actually going to be some stubborn clouds and some temperatures that sort of hold steady for most of the day. They'll bounce around a little bit, but I don't expect them to get anywhere near as warm as they've been for the past couple of days. And I do think overnight tonight with those northwest breezes bringing in that drier and cooler air, we're going to watch those numbers slide way back down into the 40s. And if the skies can clear up a little bit, we may see temperatures in some spots even get below 40, so cooler coming for sure, and I think that's going to stick around for a little while. I do still see some showers in our far eastern areas. I'm talking areas into Lafayette and Suwannee counties. We've got a couple of showers left in parts of Hamilton, maybe a couple of showers sliding through very far parts of Taylor County, and now more into Dixie. A few little sprinkles could still get wrung out of some of these stubborn clouds in other spots, but I think the best rain chances are moving east and moving away. That breeze shifting to the northwest is going to be bringing in that dry drier air, but I do think these clouds are going to be a little extra stubborn today and they're likely going to linger for a while. We're at 67 now in Valdosta, down from the 70s just a little while ago. We're at 64 in Tallahassee and 63 in Thomasville. Here are some more numbers. We'll see some 50s to the north and west. Still hanging on to 70 in Live Oak and 72 in Cross City. That breeze out of the northwest will perk up a little bit in the intensity, and I think it's going to be in that 5 to 15 mile per hour range for most of the day. So got to expect a little breeze out there to make it feel just a little cooler than it is. And of course, with that breeze, we're not going to expect a whole lot of fog, even with some of the rain that we did see in the overnight. And most of the areas we're talking generally less than a half inch worth of rain, but a couple of thunderstorms, especially in Wakulla County, had a little bit of excitement to them for a little while this morning. Things much quieter now, and they should stay much quieter for today, for tonight, for tomorrow, and going forward. We'll see if some of this energy down here to the far south and west gets close enough to the Gulf Coast to maybe throw a little wrinkle in the forecast come early Friday. Watch here on the future cast. The clearing tries today, tonight, tomorrow. I think it'll be somewhat successful for a while on Thursday, but as we get to Thursday evening, Thursday night, that next energy passing by to the south may get close enough to throw a little more moisture our way. So not only do we see the clouds come back, but we could even find a couple of showers. It doesn't feel like we're talking big rains here, but if that area of energy moves a little bit more north, it could change our forecast a bit, so we've got some things we're keeping our eyes on for Friday. We've got some time between now and then. I'll have lots of updates between now and then for you. On the Gulf today, breezy with some clearing winds out of the northwest and north, like 10 to 20 and seas 2 to 5 feet. Let's go 50s, 60s this morning, cloudy and damp. The showers east will fizzle out. I think this afternoon we're not expecting showers, but we're probably not going to get full clearing, so we'll call it trying to clear, and the warm spots will get back to the mid-60s. A lot of us won't even get back that warm. Low 40s for us tonight in the cool spots, and if we do get enough clearing, North and west, we could see temperatures that dip below 40, so going to be a chilly start to Thanksgiving morning. I think Thanksgiving all day, those top temperatures struggle to get back to the 60s, especially if the clouds stick around. Now we're talking about that next piece of energy that may bring a few showers our way late, late Thursday or early on Friday. Got a little time to work on that. Do you notice on that seven day forecast, though, it's all 40s in the morning and all 60s in the afternoon.